Hey guys, I'm Pascal from Orange Pixel, and this is another Tuesday Talk Tech 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 Talk Tuesday Tech Talk Tuesday. It's another Tuesday video, and we're gonna do a little tech talking. So that's what this is. Um, it's gonna be involving these little guys over here, and it's not so much these guys, but more the reflection of these little dudes on the floor, on the surface. So my goal for these Tuesday videos is not so much to teach you how to program games or whatever, but more to um, show you how some of the magic works and that there's sometimes there's trickery going on to make things look interesting and work. But also, if you are a game developer and you're one of those that just slaps on a huge library and then uses a tiny bit of that library to accomplish something, I hope these videos inspire you to start thinking a little bit more creative and come up with interesting solutions and sometimes very simple tricks to do cool stuff. All right, so as I mentioned, um, this video we're gonna talk about these little things, not so much these characters, but the reflection underneath them. Uh, when I created Heroes of Loot, and these are 3D printed versions of the Heroes of Loot, but when I created these guys, um, I had some dungeons and I created some sort of marmor floor in pixel art. I figured that making that marmor look good, even in pixel art, was by somehow having a reflective surface. Of course, in 2D and simple graphics, and I didn't want to add all the light system and stuff like that, or shaders and, and mapping, or... There's a lot of ways you can accomplish this, but I wanted a very simple solution and something that worked in my system already. So basically what I did was, uh, that I draw the characters upside down just a little bit lower on the screen and a little bit transparent let me just show you all right so how a game works is pretty simple it has an update loop and that loop is then called usually or often at 60 frames per second and then it also has a loop that does all the drawing onto the screen what we do in the update loop is pretty simple we uh, move everything and then we tell the render loop that we want it to be drawn on the screen or not if it's outside the area of the camera i hope that's still understandable anyway all the characters that are on the screen are put in this sprite list this is what we call it it's just a list that keeps track of every image that needs to be drawn so the warrior will tell the sprite list that it wants to be drawn at this position and this size and how he looks and then the wizard does the same and this little treasure chest does the same so we have a sprite list that contains all the information for every character for every piece of the walls um, for loot for monsters pretty much everything that flies around the screen at any frame so at the end of an update we actually have all this information in our sprite list and when we start our render loop we just simply go through this sprite list and we just dump every sprite onto the screen at the location it was. We already did some uh, sorting and ordering because we actually have to draw from top to bottom. Especially if you have a top down view, you want to make sure that wizards that are in front of the warriors are actually drawn after the warrior is drawn, else it, we start, it becomes a very messy thing. Now if we want reflective surfaces or how I did it in my game is pretty simple. I first draw the floor. This is always going to happen anyway. And then we go to, through the sprite list, but we do a little bit different. Instead of drawing this warrior like it is, we actually flip it underneath his feet and we draw it upside down underneath his own version and just a little bit transparent. And that's the whole trick. I, and like I said, sometimes tricks are very simple, but they work. So pretty much, let's say these are both warriors. We'll draw the reflection first and then we draw the actual version on top of it. And um, we have a reflective version of every image in the game. So that's it. That's the very simple, neat little trick for my reflective surfaces. I've been adding it to various games, Heroes of Loot, Space Grunts, uh, the new game Snake War will have some reflective surfaces here and there. Um, it's a very simple trick and I hope it brings some ideas to other developers out there as well and, and just make you be more creative with solutions. 
because that's really where the fun in game development comes from. So um, see you guys in the next Tech Talk video. Bye.